Hi everybody. Today's question that I pose to you is, do you have a son or daughter, a rising freshman, sophomore, or junior, who has ambitions to play college sports at any level, Division I, Division II, Division III, the Ivy League? Do you have a son or daughter who's planning on doing that? And if so, this is going to be a great little Facebook Live session for you. Because I'm going to go through what I have heard in talking with students, hours and hours and hours and hundreds of students over the last month, who plan, in their mind, to play college sports, and what their reactions are, and how I try to tweak their program a little bit. My name is Phil Black. I run an online mentoring program called Prepwell Academy, where I help rising freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors make smart decisions about high school, about college, about life, about the military, about playing sports in college, and I love it. It's been great, particularly in June, because I'm trying to set up all of my prep wellers for the summer. Now, I have special interest in this as a Division I athlete in college. I played basketball at Yale, went to Harvard Business School, former Navy SEAL, former Goldman Sachs investment banker, firefighter, Shark Tank contestant, and a bunch of other things. So I really love talking about these things because I think sports are really important. And what I found over the last month in talking to all these kids, particularly my prep dwellers, when I ask them, number one, do you have ambitions to play your sport in college? I get a wide range of answers. And then when I ask them, what is your plan to make that happen? I get a more narrow range of answers, which are not particularly good. So let's take it from the top. When I have my sessions with them, my pre-summer sessions, a lot of that is about goal setting. Now, if you missed yesterday's presentation, go back to that. I'll give you the link there because I've provided people, especially people who are listening early, to a great goal setting worksheet that tells you exactly step by step how to create great summer goals. So if you're here, go to prepwell, prepwellacademy.com forward slash P forward slash goals. I'll say that again prepwellacademy.com forward slash P, like Phil, forward slash goals. And give me your name and email address and tell me what grade your son or daughter is going into and I will send you a custom goal sheet worksheet, goal setting worksheet. And you'll be able to work through that with your son or daughter, particularly, particularly if they're interested in playing sports in college. Doesn't matter what level, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, the Ivy League, we'll cover them all. So here's what's typically been happening in the trend that I'm seeing talking to my prep wellers. I give them a, a personal profile sheet that I get and I review and I study. And then when I talk to them through Skype typically or FaceTime, I get to the section that says, do you play a sport in high school? A lot of kids do. They say, I play lacrosse, I play softball, I swim, whatever it might be. And I talk to them a little bit about it and I ask them what level they're at in their particular sport, whether it's in their high school or are they regionally ranked, or are they nationally ranked? Are they ranked in their school, in their county? So we talk about that a little bit. And then I get to the question, a very pointed question, and I ask them, do you have ambitions to play this sport in college at any level? Now they may have a little bit of a question, well, Division I, Division II, I say any level. Division I, Division II, Division III, whatever. And they say, well, uh, I, I plan on do, going Division I. That's what I want to do. So that'll be a topic for a different conversation about what their motivation is and why they want to play Division I sports. A lot of them will just reflexively say, Division I, I want to play Division I because it's the best. That's what I want to do. I want to get a scholarship. I want to get some kind of financial aid. So let's put that aside. Other people say, maybe Division Three. I want to go in the Ivy League, and they name different conferences, and that's great. And then I get to the, the question of, what's the plan for the summer to help put you in position to play a college sport? And what I find oftentimes is, well, I'm, I'm playing on this club team, and we practice two times a week, and we have games on the weekend. Okay. Uh, well, I swim two times a day, three days a week, and then one time a day, uh, three days a week. Okay, so far so good. What else? And oftentimes, there's nothing else beyond that. They're doing what they did during the school year over the summer. I don't hear things like, I have a plan. Every once in a while, we'll get somebody who has a personal trainer, but I'm talking about your, more of your middle-of-the-road kid who's probably pretty good at sports. They made the all-star team in second or third grade. They've been doing this for a long time, and they have this assumption that they're going to play or they want to play Division I sports or Division II sports or even Division III sports. It's difficult to play collegiate sports at any level. So first I level with them about that, 
And then secondly, I said, we have to have a plan better than I'm going to do my club team and I'm going to do two a days every once in a while and that's it. We need a, a very good plan. Now, some of the things that some of these kids have to work on is number one, here's some big categories. And if you go to that, that goal setting um, worksheet, it breaks all this down. Big categories are cardiovascular and endurance training, strength training, speed agility quickness training, and sports specific skill training. Those are the categories that I tried to move them in that direction. Now, it obviously depends on the sport, but let's take lacrosse as a sport because here I am, uh, ironically, at the World uh, Series of Lacrosse here with one of my sons. And so let's take that as an example. Now, I hope you can use this as an example with your son or daughter and tweak it a little bit based on what sport they play. So let's say for a lacrosse player, they're going to play, of course, whatever league they're in, whatever club team they're on. They're going to have their club team practices. Great. That's a given. What are they going to do beyond that on their own, independently of what you do for the team? Let's start out with cardiovascular and endurance training, particularly for things like football, basketball, tennis, um, of course, lacrosse, uh, soccer, things like that. Cardiovascular endurance is extremely important. If you want to be a collegiate player, you can't get away with, oh, I have practice during the summer with my team. No, 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 no. You need to be doing hill repeats. You need to be doing endurance runs, couple mile runs. You need to be thinking about running stairs. You need to be thinking about doing longer runs, shorter runs, high intensity interval training runs. It doesn't have to be complicated, but that has to be in their mind. They need a cardio endurance piece as part of the bigger picture for their particular training. That's number one. Number two, strength training. If they're a rising freshman, sophomore, or junior, they need to get stronger. They're in the perfect spot to get stronger. That means maybe it's body weight exercises, maybe it's sports specific exercises for explosiveness, maybe it's a little CrossFit in there, maybe it's a little bit of Fit Deck in there, body weight exercises, maybe it's something that um, they go to the gym, maybe they're a 24 hour fitness person, whatever it might be, they need to get stronger in their particular sport. That's number two. Number three, speed, agility, quickness. Now again, it depends on the sport, but a lot of sports, field hockey, soccer, lacrosse, basketball, football, tennis, there's a lot of footwork involved. There's a lot of quickness involved. There are a lot of these uh, speed, strength, plyometrics involved. That could be a different category of workout for them. And then lastly is sports specific skill training. So for a lacrosse player, wall ball, how many times are they gonna do 300 on one side, 300 on the other side? They're going to do stick tricks. They're going to do. Um, they're going to shoot. They're going to defend. They're going to work on their footwork. All these things need to be considered to put together a very good plan for their summer training, over and above the generic stuff that they're doing doing with their team. Now, some teams out there, of course, have a speed, agility, quickness module, maybe one time a week. So I would suggest sitting down with your son or daughter and leveling with them. I do this, parents love it when I do it with their kids, and sometimes they're lingering, the, lingering in the background listening, and I, I bring it to them. I say, listen, if you're telling me you wanted to be a Division I athlete, it's go time. If it's a rising sophomore, I'm like, this is one of your last summers that you need to get after it. There's no more waiting around. Rising freshmen, same thing. You need to do this stuff. In fact, if you're talking with coaches already, you need to have a plan like this ready to go for them if they happen to ask you, hey, what's your workout plan like this this summer? Boom. You don't want to hit them with, oh, well, I work out with my AAU team, I work out with my club team. They want more than that. They want people who are committed and people who are getting after it. So the best thing to do, I think the easiest thing to do, is to download that spreadsheet, that worksheet that I've provided for you, custom for each different age group, whether it's 9th, 10th, or 11th, rising. You know, rising 12th graders is probably a little bit too late. If, you want to work, if you're going to play Division I, Division II, Division III, or the Ivy League, you probably know whether you're good enough or not. So I like to you know, really encourage the younger kids to get things going quickly. So if you go to the, be the beginning of this video, go back where I share with you the downloadable, uh, temp the downloadable URL. So you can go to their name, email address, what, what grade your son or daughter is going into. And I will send you this downloadable sheet which goes through how to do goal setting, how to do smart goal setting. S has got to be specific. M's got to be measurable, A, it's got to be age appropriate, uh, R, it's got to be realistic or a reach goal, and T has to be time-based. And I've written it all out on this template so you don't have to remember, you don't have to take notes. So you can print out this template, sit down with your son or daughter and say, hey, listen, Johnny, Susie, 
This summer is precious time. That's why I meet with all my prep wellers during June because it's July and August. That's the big block of time, that eight week block of time to get after it for your summer workout program. Sit down with them and say, hey, let's make some smart goals. What's, what do you want to do in high school? You want to make the varsity? Do you want to start as a, as a freshman, as a sophomore? Let's get some goals on the table. You want to play Division I sports? Guess what? Now's the time to do it. Let's get some specific goals. Not you want to work out and get stronger this summer. You want to do 10 perfect pull-ups this summer. That's specific. You want to run a 6-15 minute mile this summer. That's specific. I want to work out this summer. Not specific. Not going to fly. I hope that's been helpful. Check it out. Go online. I'd love for you to leave some comments below. If you're not seeing this live, please send some comments below. I check out the comments and I'll reply to you as best I can. I'm going to get going. My son's about to come back in the door. I, I sent him on a little cruise to check out the pool, to check out the restaurant we're going to eat tonight. He's got to get some sleep and he's got to get to hydrate because he's got some big games this, this weekend, the World Series of Lacrosse. And I'm going to give their team, I hope, I hope their coach lets me give their team a little pep talk. And here's the pep talk. I don't want to hear about the altitude. I don't want to hear that you're tired. I don't want to hear that it's hot here. I don't want to hear that it's, it's humid here. And I don't want to hear what team is ranked what. Either they're higher ranked than you or lower ranked than you. I don't want to hear about any of it. Not factors. Shut it out of your, out of your speech. Shut it out of what you talked about. Talk about winning. Talk about other stuff. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for coming live with me. And we'll talk to you next time.